Hello, my name is Jarmo Viteli. I come from the University of Tampere, Finland, and I'm a research director there. And my main interest area are the learning environments, especially the digital learning environments. And now I will tell you a short story about the learning analytics. As we all know, the book is one of the greatest learning environment. Here I have a book, which probably most of you know. It's a story about Pinocchio. And whenever he lied, he knows grew. And in that way, he learned not to lie anymore. It was a great learning experience for the Pinocchio. And also, I think it has been a great learning experience for many of us who have read the book. And in that way, understood that, that lying is probably not a good thing to do. But what about nowadays, when we have these digital learning environments? How you follow that you are learning? how the teacher will know that you are learning, and how the teacher can help you when he or she realizes that, okay, now you have real challenges in your learning process. In typical class, in the school or even the university, you take a course and then you have a final test. And in your final test, you probably get seven out of 10, which means that, okay, you passed, you don't know all the details, but you can go to the next course. What it means in practice, if you get the 7 out of 10 in the final test? It means really that there are gaps in your knowledge, and in the future those knowledge gaps might affect, or actually they will affect, your learning in the future and the other courses. Sal Khan, who has created Khan Academy in the US, and which is producing thousands of excellent videos in different, especially in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics areas, told a story a year ago while I was visiting a professor in Stanford uh, about the, the role of the learning analytics. He mentioned that if you start to build a house, and first, of course, you build a basement, and after you have built the basement, uh, the supervisor will come and see how it looks like, and he will say, OK, it looks perfect. The only thing is the one corner of the basement is lower, 10% lower than the other corners in, in your basement. But go ahead, build on second level or the first level. OK, you start to build the first level. And then after that, the supervisor comes again and look at the, your building and says, OK, it looks perfect. But now the corner is 20% lower than the other corners. But go ahead, build on the second floor. And you build the second floor. And then the supervisor comes again, and now your corner is 30, one corner is 30% lower than the other corners. And when you go to the fourth level, then everything collapsed. This tells us that if we don't care about the, 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 the we are learning properly all the levels and the basic things in, in different items and in different disciplines, in our further studies, we are having a lot of problems. So, with the learning analytics, when you are studying the digital environment, the teacher can see where, how you are doing, and if you have a problems, he and she or she can come and help you. Or you will see by yourself also how you are progressing. So, and you know all the time where you are in your learning process. And in that way, when you take your final test, you should get 10 out of 10 every time. Because while you are studying those things, and if you don't know the things, you can't go on before you have really get the right answers and get the right understanding. That's why the learning analytics is extremely important. And whenever you are using the digital learning environment, or you are creating the digital learning environment, try to make it sure that you also incorporate the learning other analytic tools as part of the environment. In that way, you can make it sure that your learners will learn the things which you are willing them to learn. Thank you.